In this tutorial, I'm going to look at how to set up a template for your 2D drawings. So first off, you need to make sure that you know which templates you're using. So when you go new, it will copy a template. So the um, easiest way of doing that is to go Control N. And that will bring up the list of standard templates. So you can see that I am set to be isometric. And there are five templates that are set up in that folder. So I'll cancel out of there. So as I said, you need to make sure that you go um, to open and browse. And within the uh, program files, Siemens Solid Edge 2020 template, you'll see all those folders that were listed earlier. So if we go into isometric and we open up the isometric draft, that opens the um, template. So um, typically you'll have the um, standard solid edge stuff on here. Um, and we need to go over to the view tab, turn on our background sheets. So under isometric, we have four, which is A1 to A4. And each one has its own individual border and sheet size. So I'm going to customize the A3. So if you double click on it, if you want to change the um, aspect ratio um, or you know the the actual um, paper size, you can go in and change that. Um, I'm going to leave it as that for the moment. And coming onto the background sheet, you'll see that you have the um, logo here to show that it's a background sheet so you shouldn't actually draw on this because all the information is is selectable and it just means that you can sort of mess around with it if you don't mean to so um, I am going to start um, by adjusting this I sort of want to take some of this I want, want to have it spread across the entire um, drawing so I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to go to extend to next And I want to just try and pick up off this line here. Okay, you've got to have the whole screen in position to be able to do that. So you can see that we've sort of now um, adjusted that. I'm only interested in sort of say um, a couple of these items. So I'm going to select that and then go to the Move command, make sure that it's turned off, pick up off there, and then I can reposition that down in here somewhere so that we can um, have that information. Um, I might actually just get rid of that line there and move this down. And just change the spacing a little bit. Um, you can also see that we have um, the ability to add in extra lines and stuff. Um, I might actually just put in some lines between here. You'll see that it's um, got an automatic date on here. Um, these refer to um, property text, so with any solid edge document. If you go into Info, um, File Properties, you'll see that it has um, summary information, so title, author, manager, company, whatever, and um, project information, so you'll have a document number, revision number, and project name. So anytime these get filled out, um, you can use the um, call out command, so that's this one here, and Basically, what we do is we use property text. So in this case, this field is going to get filled out with the author from the current working drawing. So um, if I wanted to change that, I could come in here. I can say I want it coming from the active drawing or um, index reference is the first model that is placed into the drawing. So it takes the information from the assembly or the part file that you've placed onto the drawing. Um, if you're looking at just doing 2D, you only want it from the active drawing. 
So you just go um, select what you want, select the field. So if you want to go manager, you'll see it, it will put in the text. So it's percent brackets and the name of the property. And then you go OK and it will place it up into here. I'm going to leave it as it is and um, cancel out of here so you can place in other information as you go. Um, I will also like to put in a company image. So if I go up to here and go browse and I'm looking for a logo. I want to change this to PNG. Um, I've got my company logo here. So if I double click on that, you can see what we're getting. Um, I've got this as a transparent anyway. So um, you can see that we've got that. I want to turn off the border so you can see that it's hiding that. And then um, I've also got auto um, lock aspect ratio on there. So I can just sort of drag that down to be a reasonable size. And drop that in here. Sorry, I'm picking up more than I need to. It's still going to have to be a bit smaller. And then I can position it in here like so. And um, then we can uh, either copy that. And just build up so I just need to change that a little bit if I hover over I need to move that line over I'll go back to my copy command, turn on the copy this time, and just move that over so that it's not hiding. And I can align it there. So, um, you know, you can build up your information. I now want to select that lot and remove it. And then I'll use my trim command and just get rid of these pieces here. So that sort of gives me my background sheet that I'm after. So I'll go back, make sure that you turn off the background sheets when you're finished. And if I double click on the sheet, I can change that. Um, if you change the background to the background sheet, it's going to automatically change the sheet size as well. So um, you can see that we have our new sheet. Now that um, I've done that, um, I need to make sure that I have the units I'm after. So if I go into settings, options, and um, drawing standards, default in this template is first angle. I prefer to have third angle. Um, you can make any other changes that you want and save that out so that Anytime I create a document from now, it's going to be in third angle. And um, yeah, that's that's sort of as far as you need to go. So you just save it from there. And then that becomes your default template. I've got it set up so that it's fitted to the screen. It's an A3 size, which is typically what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm ready to go.